Hello and welcome to the Terran Space Academy, where we help prepare you for a bright future in the space industry. We have an assignment for this coming weekend. This is the world's largest cruise ship, named the Icon of the Seas, has a mass of about 307,895 metric tons. We'll round that to 300,000 even. And is 365 meters, more than a third of a kilometer long. It has 20 decks and a maximum capacity of 7,600 passengers. If this were a massive spaceship built on the moon as an Earth-Mars-Venus cycler, since you can use a Venus slingshot to get you to Mars faster during some parts of the year, how many vacuum raptor engines would it take to lift off the surface with a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.5? And how much propellant mass would it need to get to low lunar orbit? assuming a specific impulse of 380 seconds and a 2,000 meter per second delta V budget. Now run the same calculations using the RL-10C3 rocket engines with a thrust of 106 kilonewtons, how many would you need? And since we are burning hydrogen fuel with a specific impulse of 461 seconds, how much mass would need to be propellant? And finally, once in orbit, assuming that we load 5,000 passengers from Earth, and use magnetoplasma dynamic thrusters with a specific impulse of 2,500 seconds using methane as a propellant. How much propellant mass will we need if we accelerate at 2 meters per second squared for 10 days? And what is our final velocity? We'll have the answers to these questions in our next lesson, and I look forward to your thoughts and calculations. Until then, stay safe at Astroproterra.